We're joined by head coach Bill O'Brien leading up to the Eastern Michigan game. Coach, before we get into that game, overall evaluation from the Syracuse game starting on offense. Well, I, I think that we, uh, as a team, we, we overcame a lot of odds. Offensively, you know, there's a lot of room for improvement. But when we, when we had to make a play, we made one. And, uh, uh, you, you know, it was a tough football game. Gives Syracuse a lot of credit. But uh, we've, we've gone back to work uh, yesterday, starting yesterday, and, and we look to make some improvement in this game this weekend. Talk about the defense and the, the effort that they put out on Saturday. Yeah, you know, again, you can't say enough about our defense. They uh, they played very tough. Uh, there's some improvement to make on that side of the ball, obviously, but they played a, a tough football game, a lot of great effort, uh, some individual standouts in Daquan Jones and Stephen Obang and Jordan Lucas and Glenn Carson. Uh, I thought those guys really took their game to the next level. Talk about the two young corners specifically in terms of their first game in, in, in a big environment like that and kind of the way they played and handled themselves. Right. Trevor Williams and Jordan Lucas did an excellent job of uh, coming into that game and understanding the game plan and then uh, not playing afraid. You know, they played aggressively and and that's that's rare in a young corner. You know, there certain times you see young corners playing there. Sometimes they're they're concerned about getting beat. And these guys are two aggressive guys. They're physical. They're big. They're athletic. And uh, you know, we're fortunate to have them on our team. On the offensive side of the ball, I'm sure the first thing you're going to talk about is third down conversion. What goes into being successful on third down? Talk about execution, play calling. What, what's important to be successful? Yeah, it starts with coaching. You know, we have to do a better job. Personally, me has to do a better job on third down with the game plan. You know, I, I, I thought it was going to be one thing, and it wasn't, and uh, didn't adjust quick enough. And so it starts with us. And then once we get that adjusted, the players need to go out and execute. But, uh, you, you know, it'll start with the coaching, and we'll really look to improve on that this week. Talk about the, the quarterback play. What did you think of Christian Hackenberg's first outing? Well, I think for the first time uh, going out there and playing a Division One college game, 18 years old, no redshirt year, uh, 29 practices under his belt, uh, I thought he did an admirable job. Now, he's, he's got some improving to do. Well, we don't want to turn the ball over. Obviously, we want to execute better on third down. But to go out there in his first game and play the way he did is a, is a testament to him. And, uh, and, you know, we've got a long way to go, but I thought it was a good start. Moving from week one to week two, people always say that you have a, your most improvement from week one to week two. Why is that the case, and what are you looking for this week? Well, again, you know, I, I compare that to the NFL a little bit. You know, in the NFL, you have four preseason games, and in and, and, and college, you don't. You know, your preseason games are your scrimmages against each other. And, uh, you know, so really our first really true test was Syracuse, and we learned a lot about this team. We know we're resilient. We know we're tough. We know we made a lot of mistakes that we have to improve upon. So hopefully in this five day week, we can make a lot of improvements in certain areas and, and come out and have a much better showing on Saturday. You get to come into Beaver Stadium on Saturday, first time this year. What's special about walking out of that time? I mean, where do you start? You know, you have uh, 108,000 fans. Uh, you have 30,000 students that are right there behind you when you walk out of the tunnel. The, the noise of that stadium, I'll never forget when I took the job, and Tom Brady told me to this day it's the loudest place he's ever played in, and he's right. You know, it uh, means a lot to our players. It uh, gives me chills just talking about it, just thinking about going out. Uh, running out for that game, starting here in the locker room, stretching out, getting going, warming up, and then coming out of that tunnel and, and give our fans something to, to cheer for. What's your evaluation of Eastern Michigan? 1-0 and on the year for them? Right. You know, they're a tough football team. They're, they're scrappy. Uh, they've got some guys that can really run. Uh, they do some different things on both sides of the ball. They play a 3-4 defense on, uh, you know, against our offense would be 3-4. And then, you know, offensively, they do some things that are similar to Syracuse. So we've got to shore some things up, and uh, it'll be a difficult game. Keys to the game, starting on offense. I think, again, we, we've got to take care of our own show. We, we have to make sure that there's no operation penalties. We've got to stop turning the ball over. We have to do a much better job in the critical areas, third down. We've got to get the ball in the red area to be able to perform in the red area. Uh, we've got to continue to take our shots down the field. And so I think those are, those are going to be big keys to the game. I think defensively, when you look at the keys to the game, you know, there's a lot of improvement to be made in certain parts of the game, like the beginning of the game. We have to do a much better job understanding that they're going to attack our scheme in the beginning of the game and be able to adjust to it as players. And I know that we'll do that. We'll continue to play with effort and hustle and toughness. And, uh, you, you know, again, it'll, it'll be a sign of some improvement, hopefully, this, this week. Finally, wanted to touch on special teams. Obviously, a great day for Sam Ficken, but in terms of kickoff coverage, four touchbacks out of six, and Sam had a big day kicking. How about punt coverage, punt return? What did you see out of all those units that you liked on Saturday? Yeah, again, I think that uh, anytime you have a kicker that can give you some touchbacks, that's that's great, you know. And he can also directionally kick it, which is good. He's a much improved kicker. 
I think on the coverage team itself, we have to do a better job of covering. We have to avoid blocks the proper way. We've got to get off blocks. You know, we've got a lot of improvement to make there. We started that already yesterday. I think when you look at our punt team, again, it's kind of the same thing. It's more consistency in coverage. We had some nice punts by Alex. He's got to be more consistent. He's definitely improved, but we're, we're stacking each other in coverage lanes. We've got to spread out across the field. Punt return, you know, again, we've got to stick on our blocks better because when we give Jesse De La Valle or Vaughn Walker or Crease, they, they have a chance to make a big play for our football team. So that'll be some areas to look at. And then uh, kickoff, uh, kickoff return, you know, we, we had a nice one, but then there were other ones where we didn't stick on our blocks good enough. We didn't have the right return, uh, you, you know, going back there. And so, again, we've got a lot of improvement to make on those teams. Coach, thanks for your time. Good luck on Saturday. Thanks, Tony.